usually used to remember donors who have passed was used as a celebration today to honor a living organ donor. Nurses, doctors and caregivers lined the Hall of Fraser Rehab to celebrate a woman whose donation contributed to save not just one, but three lives. Great news reporter Brandon Spencer was there and shares the story. Finding kidney donors is hard. Finding living kidney donors is even harder. So when a volunteer living kidney donor walks through the door, it has the opportunity to change lives forever. For Kathy Hogan, the process of becoming a living donor ended with the ringing of a bell. But it started with a rigorous checklist to ensure her health and state of mind. They're just angels, just coming out of the blue and telling you, I want to donate a kidney. That's why I first say, let's do a psyche valve. <laughs> Hogan says the process started in February when she did a lot of research to ensure it was possible for her to donate. It doesn't shorten my life, so, and I'm healthy, so I can share my health with someone else. Dr. Garv Rajashekar, or Dr. Raj, shared why Hogan's decision to be a living donor was so important. A living donor kidneys work far better than deceased donor because of the controlled environment, the fact that there's no cold ischemia, meaning it's not coming on ice, and it works much better. Now, Hogan's donation didn't just help one person, it set off a chain reaction that allowed for three different people to receive kidney donations. But she wishes she could do more. I just wish that it could reach out more, you know? But, and then I wanted to do this to educate people. To celebrate her selflessness, Hogan was given an honor walk. A gesture that is usually somber and meant for those donors who have passed, but was joyful in honor of Hogan. It was like a big hug, and I didn't realize there'd be so many, and I was so glad that I could look them in the eye and thank them because everyone from food service to check in, it's been a great, great event for me. And in a rare occurrence, Hogan even got to meet the recipient of her kidney before surgery, seeing just how much her sacrifice truly means. I was like going, hey, it's me. And I, she's like, who is that? Like, and I said, no, it's me. I'm donating my kidney to you. So, and then she started to cry, happy tears. So it was beautiful. And if you're interested in being a living kidney donor or want to learn more about how you can do so, you can go to our website at wave3.com. Reporting in Louisville, Brandon Spencer, Wave News.